All right, so now we want to create our detail view, which is basically going to be the view which is going to show one recipe in its detail. So let's go here and add a new file. And that's going to be a basic UI view controller. And that's here. Let's call that recipe detail. And then change that to a UI view controller. And then we want to have a save for the user interface. Save that in the foodie folder. Well, as you can see, normally I would actually group all this into groups so it would be easier to find later. But right now, we just want to get to the, to the nitty gritty, you know, get the, the view out and, and um, get our application out there. So um, now we have a view that's a recipe detail. So, what this is going to have is going to have a large image for the dish. Let's pull a UI an image view onto the stage. Uh, it's kind of too big. Let's size that. Let's make that smaller. Oh, this is gonna be a pain. Okay, yeah, that's better. Okay, so that's that, and then we need a text for the title. I would say let me put the title below the image. So let me drop that up a little bit. And then drop the text for the title there. So that's one. And then we also need some information about the ingredients. So let's gonna let's let's use a text view for that one. So drop in a text view for the ingredients and then we're good to go I think let's just give that some information so that it looks better that's that and then oh, I need some ingredients text so let me go copy text from an app I had before finished version of the app Okay, so that's it. And then let's copy some images as well. So let's put a default image just to see how that would look like. So if I copy these two images, so I have two images here, food and food large. I'm gonna put that in uh, my resources. So let's make a folder under the recipe foodie app. So I'm going to make a folder here called resources and then paste those two images in there and I'm going to add the, the resources folder to my project add files to foodie Let's see resources check and create groups for any added folders just so everything's all in a group and now we have our two images in there so if I go back to my detail view, I can now select that and then choose the large image for that. Okay, so that's looking good. And then let's actually choose the same, the smaller image for our recipe list. So that's that one. Okay. So think we're almost done we have our detail view and we have our list view so the last thing we need to do is also hook up the detail view to the list view so basically when someone taps on one of the lists they get to the detail view all right okay so if you go back to our recipe list here and then look for a file uh, for a method called did select row at index path so this is basically what the what will be called when a user taps on a cell in your in your list so we, before we do that we need to also add our detail view so let's import our recipe detail so 
so we create a new instance of the recipe detail here let's call that detail view And then we will push that onto our navigation controller. We haven't set up a navigation controller yet, but we're gonna have to, we're gonna do that soon. And I think that's all we need to do. So right now our navigation controller is not set up yet. So if you go back to our app delegate let's just make a new navigation controller just so that our views are pulled into a navigation controller so if I make a new navigation controller here this is in the date finish launching with options function by the way and let's say the first view controller is gonna be our list so recipe list so we're gonna have to do this after we declare the recipe list okay so instead of pushing the recipe list as the root view controller our root view controller is now our navigation controller so now if we run that let's see what we get okay so this is our list okay so we see that the height of our rows are not as large as they should be so let's go change that so this will need to be done in our recipe list view controller so there should be a method call I think we'll have to create it So it's called height for row at index path. So this is gonna give us so this will need to be or this will be able to we use it to configure how high each of the cells are. So to find out how high they are, let's go back to our recipe list. No, our recipe cell and actually find out the height of this. So right now our height is 86. So let's go put the value. 86 here and then run that again okay so now we see that our lists are actually high enough so that's spaghetti block means we can see our navigation control and all showing up there then we tap on that and then we get a detail for the recipe we can see that the image is a little bit stretched there we can change that by setting by changing the settings of our image view. Let's do that. So if you go to recipe detail and I say this should be the mode. We need to set the mode. So if you set the mode to be aspect fit, no, actually aspect fill. So this is gonna fill up our image but then still keep the dimensions of the image. So let's stop that again and then run the application great so we've got here the list again with spaghetti bolognese it's everything is the same for now but i mean when the when we actually connect to our cloud or to our api we we should be able to get different recipes here and if you click on that tap on that that's our detail view again with a nicely stretched image and the title and then the ingredients for that recipe click on back and then we're good to go so the next step is to now add the design to this application so now we want to make sure that everything looks all neat and nice and then we can connect to our cloud server and get some real recipes so that's going to be in the next video